Hi Gemini, this reading is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then if the feelings are mutual in the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if, if their heart is with someone else in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. We have the Emperor, we have the Five of Swords, uh, the Eight of Cups clarified by the Ace of Swords, and we have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries. My, oh my, it's one of those spreads when in the beginning you are like happy, <laughs> I guess, but the rest of the spread is just the war zone, right? Uh, the Emperor is not a bad card. It's not. Um, it could be somebody who is a control freak, Right, but uh, in general, the emperor is a good card. You know, the emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with. The emperor is large and in charge, somebody who knows what he or she wants. The emperor uh, is above all kings. Uh, the emperor often comes through as a husband or a significant other figure, or a future husband or a significant other figure. Right, that's the person you're dealing with. The rest of the spread is just uh, a battle. You know, the only, I guess, positive way to interpret this spread is uh, if this emperor is uh, involved with somebody right now. If they are in in, in involved with somebody, they are going to be leaving that person so they could be with you. Okay, it's going to be an ugly divorce, an ugly breakup, an ugly separation, but they will do it. That's the only kind of sort of way uh, to sort of positively interpret this. The, for the rest of you, it's just something ugly is about to go down between you and this person. I don't, I don't know why or what's causing it, but uh, yeah, they're definitely leaving. They're either leaving you or they're leaving someone else. And it's not going to be uh, a pretty goodbye, right? The Five of Swords right next to the Emperor is a card of when somebody leaves slamming the door on the way out. It's a card of an ugly breakup, an ugly fight, all right? It's a card of um, a major conflict. The Eight of Cups right next to it is somebody leaving, <laughs> okay? The Ace of Swords clarifying that is a decision to leave, all right? With the Ace of Swords, somebody is going to be crystal clear about this decision to call it quits. And the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck is a card of an abrupt ending, you know? And that, that kind of makes sense with the Five of Swords also being here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, Gemini. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to be looking at the potential between you and this person uh, because of uh, the reasons I just um, stated. Instead, I will look at uh, a new person coming towards you in the near future in the second spread. Let's take a look. Here's the second spread, uh, Gemini. This is a new person uh, coming into your life in, in the near future. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Moon. We have the Chariot. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the um, Ten of Cups. And uh, we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with a Pisces, uh, Cancer, Leo, or maybe any fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, so yeah, you definitely have somebody coming your way, <laughs> okay? Um, it could be, a, you could be meeting this person at a Cancer's birthday party, all right? The chariot kind of in the middle is a Cancer card, and uh, we just uh, entered Cancer uh, birthday season, so it could be uh, that person, the birthday boy or the birthday girl, or it could be someone uh, at that party. Um, speaking of parties, the Nine of Cups, the first card that came out, is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. But uh, in some tarot decks, the Nine of Cups looks like uh, people are standing around and celebrating, right? And uh, it's clarified by the Moon. The Moon could be a Pisces you're dealing with, but uh, perhaps it's a it's a surprise or a birthday party, or it's a secret party, a party where you need to go to, right? The chariot, if it's not a cancer you're dealing with, then you may have to go there, but it's a secret practice, or a very private party, okay? Um, the moon uh, is also a very emotional card, and uh, it's not necessarily bad or good. In my spreads, the, the moon um, works as an amplifier of whatever is surrounding the moon card. So uh, the rest of the spread is very positive, very loving, very passionate, 
very happy so the moon amplifies that and at the same time when the moon and the sun come out in the same spread it's like yin and yang I heard people say that before so I think you guys make a gr you will make a great couple right uh, I think I already mentioned the moon could be a Pisces you're dealing with right um, uh, the ace of ones right next to the chariot yep a passionate new beginning <laughs> um, you could be dealing with a fire sign with that ace of ones right but I clarified the ace of ones because I was a little bit skeptical and the Ten of Cups showed up and I'm, that put a huge smile on my face. Uh, Gemini, because the Ten of Cups is a card of love, it's a card of a family, it's a card of a commitment, marriage, right? It's very, it's also a very emotional card. This card is actually one of the best ones when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be alright. There's going to be a lot of passion and a lot of love at the same time, right? The sun on the bottom of the deck, uh, it could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's a major arcana card with the sun. People always feel uh, loved, people feel successful, people feel like they're on top of the world. Alright, so yeah, you do have some kind of a trip or some kind of an event coming up either way, and I think that's where you two will be uh, acquainted. For some of you, you may already know this person, right, because you could get invited to a birthday party for some of you. For others of you, it's, I don't know how the moon card exactly will play out for you, but uh, it's gonna be alright. Alright? <laughs> Um, kind of mysterious, isn't it, uh, Gemini? But uh, yeah, at the end you do have uh, happiness, passion, and family. All right. So yep, that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Gemini, have an amazing month.